Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a used inventory unit. This is a 2013 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull. It is a warm blood trailer. It is 7'7 seven, tall, 6'10 wide, so it is set up as a straight load trailer with that rear ramp. Really cool trailer, um, about 10 years old, but you want to hardly tell it by walking around this trailer. It's got some really cool features, some features you don't even see until we start getting to these newer trailers, so it's a very well set up trailer. We'll start off here in this front tack. Your tack room door is set up on the slant wall of your nose to kind of make it easier if you do want all your doors open to be able to kind of still run in and out of this tack room. In this front tack room, over here on your driver's side uh, partition wall or short wall of this trailer, you are going to have your saddle rack and blanket bar track. Cool thing about this track is everything's easily removable. It is notched out at the top, so you can easily take your, you know, your blankets off, your saddle pads off. Um, if you wanted more blanket bars or saddle racks, they'll easily slide in that notch and you can adjust them however you see fit. So it's really cool that you can do that on this trailer. Below that is your spare tire to this trailer mounted to the wall, so you don't have to worry about that rolling around while you travel. A really cool thing about this trailer, and this is one of those features that you don't see until you really jump into these newer models. Um, some of our 2023s we started doing them on, so it's really cool that whoever set up this 2013 originally set it up this way. But you will have a window on your driver's side wall as well as your partition wall. It's really cool having one on the partition wall just because if you're stopping, you want to check on your horses, you don't have to open up your trailer necessarily. You can just jump in this front tack, look through those windows, and make sure your horses are hauling really nice down the road for you guys. To the left side of this window on your partition wall, you are going to have your bridle hooks for this trailer. It is fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks, again, to keep those bridles and bits from scratching up your trailer and keep the trailer from scratching up those bridles and bits. The other cool thing that this carpet does is it keeps those bridles from banging onto your aluminum. So it can get pretty loud if you're not carpeted behind your bridle hook, especially if you're traveling down some rough roads. And that carpet's really going to help dampen the noise and keep that ride nice and quiet for your horses. As we come down the passenger side of this trailer, you will have your extra wide escape door on both this passenger side and the driver's side. The reason we like doing that is because, again, this is a straight load trailer, so your horses will be chest barred in this trailer. It's really easy to stop, open this door. You can feed your horses right here if you need to. You can check on them, water them, do whatever you need to do without ever having to offload your horse. You can jump up in there, make sure your horses are tied. If you're going to offload, it's really easy to climb in one of these escape doors, tie them, and then drop your rear ramp. It just makes everything operate really smoothly by having two escape doors on each side of this trailer. On the side of this trailer, you will have your big sliding type bus window. Um, again, maximizing that airflow for your horses in a straight load. Just because you're kind of limited, you don't have your big drops on a straight load trailer, you're going to have more bus type windows, so we try to give you guys as many of those as possible. You will see that the Dutch doors on this trailer is equipped with a latch for that Dutch door. So you're more than welcome. I'll show you guys the rear of this trailer, but if you got your ramp up and you want to get a little more airflow for your horses, you can travel down the road with these Dutch doors latched open like this. It makes it really easy for you guys to, again, check on your horses. Um, but again, keeping that airflow flowing for your horses and keeping it nice and aired out in these trailers, especially if you're stuck in dead stop traffic, it's really gonna kind of give your horses an open air space. This is a 610 wide trailer, so you get that full length running board, which serves as a nice step. Again, jumping indoors, checking on your horses, stuff like that. Below that, we do have two 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. This is a steel wheel trailer with your aluminum simulator hubcap. So again, a really flashy look, especially with that champagne color. Um, this trailer has been fully serviced through our shop. So again, brakes have been checked, bearings have been packed. It's got a fresh alignment. All your wiring's been ran through. Every latch has been inspected on this trailer. This trailer has been brought back to life through our shop like we do with all our used trailers. Again, keep in mind as we walk around this trailer, it is a 2013, and you can really see how lightly used it was for the past 10 years when we look at the inside of this stall area. Um, it is a rear ramp trailer. Again, I talked a little bit about how you can travel with this ramp up. So if you want to travel with those Dutch doors open and this ramp up, you're more than welcome to travel like that. This ramp's going to keep your horses enclosed. You have your butt bars in front of those ramps. And again, you can see just how much open airspace that gives your guys' horses while you're traveling. But again, inside this horse area, you'll see just how lightly used this trailer was. Your mats look in good shape. Normally, if you haul a lot, your mats will start getting urine stains on them, stuff like that. You'll get some paw marks on your walls. But this trailer is in great condition. Your divider pads are in great condition. Even your stud wall matting is in great condition. And that's another cool thing in this trailer is they did drop that stud wall full length. We didn't start doing that as a standard option until most of our newer year models. Usually, it was just a standard partial divider that you see in most of them. This one's dropped four inches off the floor again, so if you do want to run shavings, but you still need to use this and slide it back and forth, it's not going to be dragging your shavings everywhere. 
You do have your butt bar back there that I dropped to come through this trailer. And you will also have your droppable chest bars. So again, if you're hauling horses, this chest bar is going to keep them contained. You can come through an escape door just like I talked on that other side. You can check on your horses, feed your horses, make sure they're tied off effectively in here, stuff like that. Probably one of the coolest things about doing a straight load setup like this is a lot of people are using trailers for multiple purposes now. They don't want to have to buy a toy hauler and a horse trailer, so they're trying to get one that will do you know, everything all in one. So the cool thing about these straight loads is pretty much everything you see in here is removable. So we can take this post out, we can take these dividers out, you can remove your chest and butt bars and pretty much give yourself a wide open bumper pull if you are hauling ATVs, UTVs, stuff like that. Or if maybe you just want to haul some cattle one day or just have a wide open trailer for your horses. You can easily remove all of the stuff in about 10 minutes and just have a wide open trailer. So it's really cool that you can do that in this trailer. The other cool thing about this trailer that you can do, again, kind of some cool options, is this head grill is pivotable in this trailer. So if you're only hauling one horse and you maybe want them to have a little more headroom, you can easily slide that over. They'll have more headroom. They won't feel as contained with this in their face. So again, just really cool options that this trailer has on it for it being you know, a 10 year old trailer. And then for each one of your stalls, you will have your two way roof vent, pretty standard. So again, pulling air in this trailer or pull, pushing air out. It's really nice to be able to open that in, get smooth air flowing over your horses out that back Dutch window. You'll get a lot of clean, cool air in this trailer. Of course, you get Cimarron standard insulated roof. You're gonna be fully insulated back here in your horse compartments. So your walls are lined and insulated. You got that insulated roof around the whole length. So it's going to stay about 20% cooler in here in the summer months and about 20% warmer in your winter. So it's really going to help maintain your horse's temperature and keep them comfortable while you guys are traveling. The floor of this trailer is a rubber matted floor and you do get Cimarron's 4 inch center floor which is the strongest floor on the horse trailer market today. So no matter where a horse steps on this floor, they're going to be standing directly over a support beam and not in between one which makes this trailer super super safe for your horses and it's actually going to hold up a lot better through the test of time. The driver's side of this trailer is going to look really similar to your passenger side. You're going to have your big sliding type bus windows, again, and your 610 running board, your matching steel wheels. You will have a tie ring on each side of this trailer. You'll have your tie ring for tying out on this side and one on the other side. Again, two horse, you're going to kind of have two tie rings. And then here is another look at that big uh, escape door on this side. Something I forgot to mention on the other side is on your escape doors on both sides of this trailer, you will have sliding type windows in each of them. Again kind of limited on being able to do big drops in a trailer like this. So we try to give you guys as much windows as possible. So you can slide your big bus windows, you can slide your door windows, you can swing open your Dutch doors and really try to maximize that airflow with the space we have. We'll move around to the front of this trailer. It'll give you a little bit better view of that window on your driver's side slant wall. So again, maybe you want to air some tack out going down the road. I know if you ride hard all day, trail riding, rodeo, and showing whatever it may be do, what you maybe do with your horses. Your pads and blankets, your saddles can get pretty nasty and sweaty. So I like that they put that on that slant wall so it can really catch a lot of air. So if you throw your sweaty blankets in there, it's kind of set up right where your saddles and blankets are anyway. So you can open that window and pull that air right to your saddles and blankets and really help dry them out so you don't get a real muggy, nasty tacker. Up here at the front, it is a two and five sixteenths coupler. You have your safety chains, your standard manual jack. We can easily upgrade this to a hydraulic jack or an electric jack if that's something you guys wanted to do if you didn't want to hand crank your trailer up. And then again, your breakaway cable, which has been ser fully serviced through our shop. So every time you buy a used trailer from TransWest, you can buy one confidently knowing we stand behind our work we do to them. Um, and that you're getting the best quality used trailer you can find. It's been fully ran through the shop, whether it be this bumper pool of living quarters. We have two world-class shops that work on these trailers and try to bring them back to as new as quality possible for you guys. Um, if you're interested in this trailer right here, the stock number for this trailer is 5U221359. Again, it's a 2013 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull warm blood. Um, this trailer is available. It's in great condition. It is ready to go today. We also have some other used trailers on our lot. We have some new ones showing up every day. So we're starting to get some inventory back in for you guys. So if you're interested in this trailer or maybe some other trailers we have or we're getting in here pretty quick, Give me a call again. My name's Tanner here at Trans West and Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.